Hello again to Mentalify, your go-to channel for in-depth conversations about mental health, life, and relationships. Today's episode delves into a critical topic that affects a large number of people, gaslighting in relationships. What is it, and how can we recognize the signs? Have you ever had the sensation that your reality is being twisted, leaving you puzzled and doubting yourself? Stay tuned to the end to learn real tactics for avoiding gaslighting and fostering healthy relationships. Let's get started on the road to better connections right here on Mentalfy. First of keep in mind that anyone can be the victim of gaslighting. Abusers perform gaslighting slowly and intentionally so that the person being gaslighted is unaware. The abuser disproves concerns repeatedly to the point that the victim is oblivious to what is happening. How can you tell if someone is trying to gaslight you? Number one, blatant lies. Gaslighting, a common type of psychological manipulation, involves people who demonstrate regular patterns of lying and manipulation, which are frequently connected with narcissistic traits. These people weave complicated webs of falsehoods and maintain false narratives with tenacity, even when confronted with real proof to the contrary. Through deception and distortion, this deliberate manipulation sows seeds of doubt, prompting victims to progressively question their recollections, perceptions, and judgments. The expertise of the gaslighter in distorting reality eventually erodes the victim's self-confidence and belief in their cognition. As the misleading methods continue, victims may get imprisoned in a maze of ambiguity, questioning their capacity to recall events clearly and distinguish truth from lie. The insidious nature of gaslighting can cause victims to experience significant psychological suffering, isolation, and feelings of powerlessness. Recognizing and dealing with gaslighting is critical for one's mental and emotional well-being. Breaking out from the harmful cycle of manipulation requires developing self-awareness, finding help from trusted persons, and improving critical thinking abilities. Furthermore, raising knowledge of gaslighting may help people recognize and resist such practices, building stronger relationships based on trust, respect, and open communication. Moving to the next, discrediting. Gaslighters are skilled in spreading harmful gossip and baseless tales about persons, resulting in the intentional depiction of their targets as emotionally volatile or insane. This sneaky tactic has enormous power, influencing bystanders to side with the manipulator or tormentor, sometimes without fully comprehending the situation. Furthermore, gaslighters use deception to perpetuate a circle of uncertainty and confusion by claiming that the same harsh words have been directed towards them. This premeditated action illustrates the psychological manipulation at work, in which skewed perceptions are utilized to exert authority and control over others' perceptions of reality. Number 3. Distracting. Gaslighters use a variety of techniques to alter events. Diverting the discourse by asking questions or disturbing cognitive processes is a typical approach. This puts doubt on observations and may cause the target to get confused. It is critical to identify these methods to retain clarity and responsibility. One might oppose their misleading tactics by refusing to be diverted and continuously pursuing solutions. This strategy stops them from acquiring an advantage and guarantees that they are held accountable for their conduct. Individuals who are watchful about these strategies are better able to rebuff gaslighters and preserve good interactions based on trust and honesty. Minimize your emotions and feelings is also a strong way of gaslighting. Gaslighting's deceptive approach of trivializing your feelings allows the gaslighter to assert power. Using comments like, calm down, you're overreacting, or why are you so sensitive, demeans your sentiments and implies that they are baseless. Such approaches alter your reality, damaging your self-esteem. Sweet et al's 2019. The sociology of gaslighting discusses the technique. When you continually disregard your ideas and emotions, self-doubt creeps in, leaving you alienated and trying to manage. The lack of validation or comprehension heightens feelings of shame. This deception undermines your capacity to trust your views, thus empowering the gaslighter. Number 5. Shifting the Blame Blame shifting is a dangerous gaslighting technique in which talks are expertly distorted to portray the genuine victim as the culprit. This devious tactic effectively blurs the line between the offended individual and transgressor, sowing uncertainty in the victim's mind. The manipulator purposely blurs the vital line that separates those who suffer from those who cause it by adopting this manipulative tactic. The repercussions are severe, frequently causing mental upheaval inside the victim as they deal with the disturbing concept that they are to blame for the mistreatment they are subjected to. It's time to get to know about what are the indicators of gaslighting. 
Gaslighting can cause anxiety, despair, and other mental health issues, such as addiction and suicidal ideation. As a result, it's critical to know when you're being gaslighted. Consider whether any of these statements apply to you. You question your feelings in the real world. You try to persuade yourself that the medical care you are receiving is not so bad or that you are overly sensitive. You have doubts about your judgment and perceptions. You may frequently find yourself hesitant to express your feelings or ideas, fearful that doing so may result in more emotional suffering. Previous experiences have demonstrated that sharing your deepest concerns can amplify unpleasant feelings. As a result, you've established a habit of becoming silent, preferring to keep your feelings buried. While this protects you from immediate agony, it also keeps you from seeking viable answers or assistance from others. You feel nervous and vulnerable. Walking on eggshells around a close companion, whether a spouse, friend, or family member, can lead to persistent stress and low self-esteem. This suffocating dynamic may weaken your sense of security and confidence, affecting your general health and relationships. You feel isolated and powerless, you struggle with the feeling that everyone around you regards you as strange, crazy, or unstable, mirroring the gaslighter's story. This confines and isolates you, leaving you with feelings of loneliness and self-doubt. As you negotiate this perplexing psychological maze, the struggle deepens. You're wondering if you're who they say you are. Gaslighting is when someone undermines your sense of reality, making you feel inadequate, stupid, or incorrect. Their deception might cause you to internalize your thoughts and even repeat their cruel statements. It's a damaging psychological trick that undermines self-confidence and clarity of mind. You are dissatisfied with yourself and who you have become. It might be depressing to go from a bright and forceful self to a weaker and more submissive version. The transition may elicit feelings of a nostalgia for former strength and assertiveness, as well as a desire to reclaim that strong sense of identity. Now, I'm going to share the most important part of this video what to do if someone is gaslighting you? There are certain things you may do to protect yourself if you are experiencing gaslighting. You could perform the following. Take a step back. Taking a step back from the powerful emotions elicited by gaslighting might provide vital insight. Although physical distance from the situation is beneficial, adopting relaxing tactics such as deep breathing and grounding exercises can give further respite from the stressful effects of gaslighting. These approaches enable people to recover control of their emotions and ideas. By practicing mindfulness and concentrating on the present moment, one may gradually regain self-trust and reduce the detrimental impact of gaslighting. In summary, combining psychological detachment and conscious coping methods can provide a strong resistance against gaslighting's deceptive tactics. Keep the evidence, because gaslighting may cause self-doubt, it is critical to chronicle your experiences. Keeping a journal, preserving text messages, and keeping emails all give solid proof. These documents act as a reality check, verifying your emotions and beliefs. When confronted with manipulation, going through these resources might help you confirm your sanity and prevent the effects of gaslighting. This practice can help you trust your instincts, hold your ground, and retain a strong sense of self throughout time. Remember that a well-documented past may serve as an anchor against the raging seas of gaslighting, allowing you to maintain clarity and trust in your reality. Establish boundaries. Setting limits in a relationship is critical for mutual understanding. They indicate your boundaries and expectations, indicating your readiness to participate meaningfully. Declaring your limits assertively makes it apparent that trivialization or rejection of your ideas will not be accepted. This creates an atmosphere of respect and openness, which is essential for establishing a good and long-lasting relationship. Obtain an outside viewpoint. We must express our emotions to people who are close to us. Talking to a friend or family member might bring new views that help us understand our concerns better. Their diverse perspectives can shed light on issues we may have ignored, pushing us toward better ideas and more effective solutions. Communication promotes personal development and emotional well-being. Stop toxic relationships. Although difficult, breaking up with someone who frequently gaslights you is typically the most effective approach to break the pattern of abuse. It is critical to prioritize your mental and emotional well-being and to put yourself first. By cutting links with the gaslighter, you reclaim control of your life and make room for better relationships. Remember that you deserve respect and honesty in a relationship and that taking this step gives you the ability to embrace a brighter future. If you believe that you are being gaslighted, you should consult with a mental health professional. They can assist you in learning more about the problem, gaining perspective, and developing new coping mechanisms to deal with the behavior. Remember that you are not too responsible for what is happening to you. The individual who is gaslighting you has chosen to act in this manner. 
They are held accountable for their acts. Nothing you did prompted them to make this decision and you won't be able to change it. Counseling, on the other hand, can teach you how to make healthy choices and create limits with the person who engaged in gaslighting. Identifying the shadows of gaslighting helps us to reclaim our truth as we navigate the intricate maze of relationships. We protect our emotional landscapes by exposing these subtle alterations. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment box. Also do like and subscribe to Mental Fi for more interesting stuff. Allow empathy and awareness to serve as our compass, directing us toward true and mutually respectful relationships.